emotions, and the brain. The old school or the conventional view of neurodentist about the process through which the brain processes information is that the sensory information is first passed to a mammalian part of the brain called the thalamus. The sensory information is then passed from the thalamus to the visual cortex. The visual cortex processes this information by comparing it with an individual's world model. The individual then eventually identifies the objects he or she sees or experiences based on their world model. Then, the signals are sent to the limbic brain. Further commands are then sent to the rest of the body to produce appropriate behavior. However, a fundamental change happened to this conventional view of the relation between our brain and emotions through the great research work carried out by Joseph Ledeau, a neurodentist at NYU. Daniel Goleman further carried out research and discovered the role of the part of the brain known as amygdala in our behavior. Goleman explained the role of the amygdala in his bestseller books Emotional Intelligence and Working with Emotional Intelligence. The modern view of how the brain processes information was explained by Ledeau. Ledeau found that there is a smaller bundle of neurons connecting the thalamus to the amygdala. Hence, the small bundle of neurons forms a small pathway that allows the amygdala to receive a selection of sensory information even before the information is sent to the visual cortex for further processing. So, the amygdala can receive information and formulate a quick response much before and quicker than the rest of the brain has processed the situation and has delivered its appropriate response. This modern view of the working of the brain with our emotions can explain our fight-or-flight behavior. People can formulate quick emotional reactions through the amygdala to novel situations. Importance of Emotions in Humans Many researchers, including Darwin, have carried out several meaningful studies on human emotions. Darwin proposed that human emotions, or simply emotions, play an important role in human life. Emotions serve a biological purpose, as they signal to us when there is something wrong or when our needs are not getting met. Hence, a person would feel a negative emotion when their needs are not met or not satisfied. They may experience various types of negative emotions, such as fear, resentment, anger, frustration, disappointment, depression, etc. Thus, emotions are the manner in which our body communicates and talks to us. So, a person's ability to deal with their own emotions may have several different kinds of social, mental, and even physical consequences. So, it is crucial that a person should never ignore their emotions and should learn to deal with them. When a person tends to ignore their emotions for long, it may lead to unhappiness, depression, physical deterioration of health, and in extreme cases, even death. Emotional intelligence plays a key role in learning to deal with our emotions. A person with a high level of EQ has a natural gift of handling, expressing, and dealing with their emotions. It has been found that people with a high level of EI are healthier, happier, and enjoy better relationships with others apart from being successful in their careers.